Hi, today I'm reviewing the Basha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And this is a newer product that just came out recently and it sells for $20. This is the first time I had a chance to purchase it, so um, I haven't used it or opened it up yet, but there are some instructions on how to use it. So it um, comes in just a little box, and then once you open it up, you get this ball, which is enclosed in plastic, and this little prick that they sent. And then the um, there's like a target piece of tape here. So from the instructions I read, you're supposed to remove the piece of tape on this, and then use the prick to prick open the, there's like a latex balloon around the actual cleanser itself. So let me see, I hope for 20 bucks I don't screw it up. <laughs> so you're supposed to prick it open, and it's very easy to, I don't want to break it, but it's not really... Maybe I need something a little sharper, I don't know. It seems to be pretty sharp. There we go. That was a little frightening, wasn't it? Okay, so now I can see that the little plastic is removed. So now, once you do that, you're going to want to take it out of the case. And then you would just use this as you would any other type of sponge type cleanser. This is complicated. I'm not sure if this is a gimmick or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, so then this is the little latex balloon that was around it. And now I've got just kind of like a little jelly ball. That's a good description. So um, let's cut over to my bathroom and I'll show you using it. And then I'll let you know my end thoughts. So after using the Basha Jelly Ball Cleanser, um, I noticed a few things. One, it was very hard to work into a lather, uh, almost impossible, I would say, which a lather doesn't necessarily mean it's cleansing anything any better than something that doesn't lather, but I usually know once it's kind of lathered that it's time to rinse off and it's clean. And the other thing I noticed was it didn't remove hardly any makeup. So if you're going to use this, you're definitely going to want to use a separate eye makeup remover or a makeup remover in general just because it's, it was hard to get those um, materials off. So, And that's usually what I want a cleanser to do is remove makeup and just cleanse my face of any other impurities. Um, a lot of people do more, more uh, cleansing rituals where they do like 12 different steps. They do a makeup remover, then an oil cleanser, then a bar cleanser. So anyway... I usually just am more about simple, quick, and easy, so I just want to get it done as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible, so for me this is kind of more of a gimmick, but it was kind of fun and different, so I don't know. If you've got extra money to spend and you don't mind spending the 20 bucks, you can give it a shot. Uh, for mainly what its main purpose is to cleanse, it uh, did a ho-hum kind of job, so for me I'm not going to give it any thumbs up and I'm not going to give it any thumbs down, but... Uh, if you guys have had a chance to pick this up and try it out, let me know what you thought. Or if you're thinking about picking it up, let me know. And feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you, guys.